Hey guys, today we're going to talk about common causes of unconsciousness. Now as a paramedic, you are going to be dealing with many patients who present to you in an unconscious, semi-conscious or a post-conscious state. So by semi-conscious, we mean somebody who is on the, the way down to being unconscious but is not quite there yet. In other words, they are still have a level of GCS or, or about them, but they're not quite GCS of three, being unresponsive. By post-unconsciousness, um, un we mean after the event and starting to come around. Uh, another term you might use is post-ictal, and typical examples of post-ictal situations are usually when somebody's had a seizure or if somebody's had a, a, a hypoglycemic episode. Now, when a person is completely unconscious, this means that they're not responding to you verbally or with, by applying any type of pressure. So we call that unconsciousness. Now, this patient will have a GCS of three because their eyes are not opening at all. That's a one. They're not responding to you verbally. That's a one. And they're not responding to any motor prompts either. That's another one. So let's take a look at some of these causes of unconsciousness because you are going to need to use this to work out the reason why they're unconscious to be able to treat it. Now, number one is shock. Now, there are five classifications of shock. Um, now, we're gonna have another session on that, but basically, whenever there's reduced oxygen to the tissues, this is a state of, of, of shock, which causes hypoxia. Asphyxia. So asphyxia is something that is caused by a lack of oxygen, so it could be the shock. Now, the five types of shock all lead to that lack of oxygen to the tissues. The word asphyxia means suffocation. So think about it. Either your tongue is blocking the airway, the patient's tongue is blocking the airway to stop the oxygen getting in, or if there's a type of shock, the blood isn't getting to the target organs, which are the brain and the main organs. Poisoning can either be accidental or intentional. So, for example, accidental poisoning could be when you're walking into a, a a situation whereby there's gases in, in a room, maybe in, in, an, in an industrial environment, or they can be intentional through, through a drug overdose. Head injury can be caused accidentally or intentionally. Accidentally, if somebody's assaulted them, assaulted your patient, um, maybe they've had a slip or a fall, or intentionally if they try to self-harm themselves or try to kill themselves. Um, so head injuries are, are a pretty big topic. And with a head injury, um, for it, for the force to be to, to cause unconsciousness, um, on many occasions there is an underlying condition known as traumatic brain injury, but not always. Cerebrovascular accidents or a stroke is caused by either a bleed or a blockage. A bleed is called a, a hemorrhagic stroke, and a blockage is called an ischemic stroke. Epilepsy is a, is a type of a convulsion. In other words, they've been diagnosed as having mal electrical impulses in the brain, which cause all over. Um, convulsions. Hysteria or uh, extreme emotional states are quite common. So if somebody is hyperventilating, for example, the body will just switch off and just reset itself. Infantile convulsions are usually caused on most occasions by a, a state of hyperpyrexia because children can't control, um, they can't control their body temperature the same way that we do as adults. So in other words, they don't have this shivering mechanism. And then hypothermia or hypothermia. So hypo is low, hypo is high. Um, and again, if your patient's body temperature is too low or too high, absolutely, they can become unconscious. Now, the good news is manage, managing these patients is exactly the same. So you arrest any major hemorrhage, you manage the airway using one of the airway adjuncts, so for example, an OP airway or an NP airway, plus you might use a head tilt chin lift if they're unconscious with non-trauma-related incidents or a jaw thrust or triple maneuver if they're traumatized. Okay, guys, well, I hope you've enjoyed this micro lecture on um, causes of unconsciousness. My name is Sam Willis, and I look forward to speaking to you again shortly. Take care, guys.